what is up and welcome back to my channel for an apartment renovation so today we are renovating um y'all know me i don't ever know which apartment it is that we're renovating and i can't see it from here on the screen but it is in the coal it's the coal pepper building in the spice district i know that much <laughs> it's the historic one uh, with a nice little bay window right there but yeah i think it turned out really nice it's kind of got like this industrial um slash rustic theme i was going for industrial but then it kind of it kind of looks a little bit rustic but not really i mean maybe kind of like industrial boho maybe is that what i'm going for i don't really know what i'm going to call this <laughs> but it's definitely a little mix between um industrial and something else i just can't seem to put my finger on what it is so hopefully i come up with the right term and you guys agree and y'all are not like what are you talking about <laughs> but yeah i think this floor plan is really different i haven't used it before and i've mentioned this before I like to use Pinterest a lot for my speed builds. I can't build without it. And recently I found a lot of apartments <laughs> from The Sims 4 on Pinterest. And it's um, basically just the floor plans that people have used. And it's really helped me a lot when it comes to apartments because I just kind of get used to doing the same old same old with the apartments because i'm not very good with floor plans so i thought this one turned out really nice and it's two bedroom one bath and it's for a single sim is how i furnished it but originally i was thinking possibly doing like a roommate's type of apartment but as i was going along with it i kind of imagined that this would be for a single sim a female specifically imagine her being in the um arts credit career because she's very much into art i gave one of the rooms is her little office area slash painting area and i think it's super cute and i think that she would have a lot of personality and you know while i was editing the footage of this i kind of thought about something that i really hope to see when we get university in the sims 4 which i do believe that it's coming really soon but i really hope that we get the option to go to college without moving to the college town yes i want a college town and i want dorms and i want sorority and fraternity houses like we've had in the past i want houses there i want apartments there but i also think it would be really really cool to have the option to have maybe like community colleges or colleges for each specific world that way maybe you have a single mom who is going back to school and she has a child maybe she doesn't want to move you know away to college maybe she just wants to you know go to class instead of going to work and you don't you get the option to go with her or not go with her i just thought about that and i think that'd be really cool that way you're you know and realistically in real life not all of us live away from home when we're in college i know it's something that when i was in high school i was like heck no tech no <laughs> i'm not living with my mama i'm moving far away because i was trying to be rebellious and you know 23 year old me now that has made a bunch of mistakes looks back and is like girl you should have stayed at home and went to community college and did the right thing with the money that you had for college because i screwed it all up bad decisions but anyways i know a lot of us a lot of people do make the decision to save money stay at home and not live off campus because living on campus can cost a lot of money so i think that would be a really really cool option to see in the sims 4 university and as i was furnishing this house i kind of thought about her um she possibly could be like a college student and she lives in the city and she goes to an arts college in the city and see my chino that'd just be really cool um let me know if you agree in the comments down below i don't think you know we've never had that in the university expansions but i don't know sometimes i, I just think of things like that <laughs> and i think it'd be really really cool but anyways as we are coming along furnishing her little apartment here I think it's so cute. I use a lot of bookshelves. Well, actually, it's not a lot, but it looks like a lot because it's a small space. But I use those two bookshelves because I just imagined this house being like industrial and kind of like boho-y, rustic. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all see the vibe I'm going with? You see it flowing? I just imagined that she would have a lot of clutter, a lot of books, a lot of vintage things. And I think it is so cute. And I used that couch. Um, did that couch come with pets? 
or did it come with seasons? I don't remember where that couch came from, but I ended up making it like a little sectional couch. I would love to see sectional couches too in a pack. You know, there's a lot of things that I would like to see. And I think I talk about it every time I do a speed build or something. Just because as I'm furnishing, I'm like, dang, I wish we had this. Dang, I wish we had that. But there are actually quite a few couches um, that we have that you can kind of manipulate to create the illusion of a sectional couch. And it looks really good. And that is one of those. And I don't think I've ever really done that in a speed build. So that's different. And then right there in the little hallway, kitchen area I was able to add in a washer and dryer because I do like to add those pretty much into every build that I do because it is realistic to have laundry um, unfortunately we don't have like the option to have like a laundromat which would be really cool which I mean uh, I would say like you can build a laundromat but I, can you put laundry in your inventory in the sims 4 I don't know I've never really done that so let me know because like if you can take the laundry and put it in your inventory and then take it to the laundry mat. I mean, maybe I would consider not adding laundry, washing machines and dryers to every build, but I don't think that's something that we can do. So I'm just going to continue to put my laundry in all of my builds, no matter how tight the space is. I'm going to try to squeeze it in there because it's just realistic, you know? And right here I am creating or creating, decorating the master bedroom. But I actually ended up moving it over here just because this is kind of where I was like, hey, I'm going to do a one sim family instead of a two sim family. And I was like, you know, there's only one bathroom. It's not an ensuite to one of the bedrooms. So I just imagined that she would prefer her bedroom to be over here. It's not that much smaller than the other room, but it's closer to the bathroom. And I know for me personally, especially being pregnant, <laughs> I have to get up like, three times throughout the night to go pee which is really annoying and um, I would not appreciate having to walk all the way across the house thankfully I just walk right down the hallway to the bathroom but I felt like her bedroom being on the opposite side of the bathroom would just kind of be an inconvenience for her which you know it's a sim she doesn't care but I like to think about my sims feelings and what what would I do if I was a sim and I feel like she would just appreciate that little that little thought I had of her there just trying to help her out but yeah I think her room is super cute and I kind of struggled trying to make it look industrial because I was like what's an industrial style bed I don't really know the whole industrial type style I'm not familiar with it but I think it's really cute and I like it <laughs> so uh, that's why it kind of didn't turn out completely industrial it kind of looks boho rustic because um that's just, I don't know, it's just how it turned out. But I hope you guys like it. I think it's really nice. I can't talk, y'all. It is currently um like 8 o'clock, 8.30 in the morning. I just got to work and I am doing this voiceover. I'm all jacked up on some Starbucks. And so I'm just going to stutter over my words a little bit today. But that's okay. I'm trying to get my voiceovers and my recordings out of the way today because... Yeah, it's nearing the end of the week, and I need to get called up. I need to be a little bit of pre-recorded for next week so I can stay on schedule and stay on track. So, yeah, I also put in this little room right here, I gave her the little decoration box just because, obviously, you can't really decorate the outside of your house with lights and stuff because it's an apartment, but to celebrate the season aspects of the game, you can look for seasonal clutter and I imagine that she would do that in her house as well so yeah I put a little couch in there too uh, you know what another thing that I wish we had is futons that'd be really cool like a futon or a day bed yes yes man and there is so much custom content I know you're probably saying there's custom content you can download Carissa that you know well, I don't want to use custom content because I want my builds to be accessible to everybody and I just want them to give me all these things that I want but uh, it's probably not going to happen or at least not all at once but yeah that'd be really nice to have I think but anyways <laughs> this build or renovation of this apartment is wrapping up so I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not. And this apartment is available for download on the gallery. It is going to be in the room section. So make sure when you download it, you go back in and add the walls over the doors because those will be deleted. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy. Love you guys. And I will talk to y'all later. Bye.